Hello and welcome to CVRMTG. We have another lot of legacy videos for you today. Uh, I'm Nicholas Fennell and with me today is Angus Mackay. Howdy. And Jake Sims. How's it going guys? And our first match today is Junk Nick Fit, uh, piloted by Dylan, and Cascade Chainer, uh, piloted by our own Lachlan Saunders. Mm. This, uh, this Cascade Chainer is a really interesting deck. It's been floating around a little bit and I know Lockie he saw it and he went, God, I've got to try this because it seems like just so much value. <laughs> I mean, the the bug Saltai is value.deck because you're going Saltai, uh, not Saltai, sorry, Shardless into any spell and it's just a two for one. Fantastic. Lachlan is going that step further and playing uh, Bituminous Blast into Bloodbraid Elf into Shardless Agent and like just filling up your board incredibly and then going into Ancestral Visions in the end. I think it's absolutely such a fantastic deck. Um, the best unfair deck. Uh, sorry, the best fair deck you could possibly <laughs> get because it's the most unfair. Fair and balanced magic. That's it. That's exactly, exactly. right. That's, we're all about fair and balanced magic here. <laughs> that's exactly right. Um, I know that after the match he said that he had a problem with drawing too many cards. <laughs> it's like, I'm drawing way too many cards. If you want to mill yourself out, it's great. That's true. Do it, yeah. Um, and... Nickfit is also a really interesting deck. The the ba the basic premise of Nickfit, the shell, would you say, is the uh, uh, veteran explorer, which is just a one mana one one that says uh, when it dies, you search a both players both search players a library search. for a ba basic land cards, two basic lands, two basic yeah. lands, and put them onto the battlefield. Now Nickfit runs a million, and it's kind of <laughs> like it's kind of an f u to the meta, right? Because no one plays very many basic lands, basically. So, as soon as you get your second Veteran Explorer... You're probably already ahead. You're probably way ahead. And then the rest of it is just up to the player. It's probably the most customizable um, and diverse sort of legacy deck there is because as long as you've got those Cabal Therapies... Oh, sorry, of course, and the Cabal Therapies, which is just... Synergy. Sh synergy, that's right. Shred your hand twice yep. and for value. As long as you've got those two cards, the rest is kind of just whichever giant big creatures you want. Yeah, Explorer being really good against Lachlan as well because being four color, like you'd assume he wouldn't run basically yeah, exactly. any basics. Yeah, so exactly. Um, it's fantastic. Dylan could be getting all the value here yeah. from it. Some yeah. other cards that um, Dylan would be playing in his deck is uh, some big creatures like uh, Sagata, the uh, the dragon that doesn't let people cast spells in there. Dragon Lord Dramoka. Yeah. Dragon Lord Dramoka. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's such a good card. Titania also very good in this yes. deck. Oof. And sure, uh, sure. a spicy uh, Soren Grim Nemesis. Yes. Because yes. you have that much mana. Why not? It's just, it just, it's just like childhood dreams come true. Right? <laughs> it's it's EDH you... in Legacy. Yeah, right? that's right. Because yeah. you have all this mana and you want to cast these cool spells. Like, I love Soren Grim Nemesis. I think he's a fantastic Planeswalker. But like, six mana is so much. Mm. But to get it out on like turn three? Ooh. <laughs> that's pretty good. And uh, just looking at Dylan's hand, it's an Eternal Witness. I see a Wasteland, a wasteland in there, yeah, yeah. Yeah. fetch land. Wasteland being a particularly powerful card against. Uh, yeah. There's also a Thought Seize in there. Yeah. Especially with Titania as well. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Just for such sure. value. Yeah. Yeah, um, do we want Thought Seize or Death Rite of his own turn one? Uh, I think. I think going in blind, you could probably do Thought Seize. I think I'm a bit worried about... You'd like, probably assume he's playing a shot, like some sort of bug-type deck sure. at this point. With um, with Trop into Death, right? Yeah. You know that, like... You're expecting a Shardless on turn two. Yeah, there's yeah, the Thoughtseize. Or even counter spells. Like, he probably wants to get rid of a couple yeah. of really bad counter Get rid of that Leovold, probably. Yeah. No, I mean, I would so say we see, we Snap see, that Leovold. Yeah, especially yeah, with a Wasteland in hand. Yep. Just get rid of that now. Yeah. So we see uh, Balfour Strix, Leovold, and Ancestral Visions. Ancestral Visions obviously being the end game of what you want to hit with... Uh, um, which one is a Shardless Agent? So yeah. being Cascading into his green. Yeah, exactly. You basically cast it for free, just four turns from now. Mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> which we all know is a completely reasonable strategy. Lachlan getting out of his chair in disgust. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm out. <laughs> I don't want to play this anymore. On the fly proxying, maybe? Yeah. We, uh, we did have a... Oh, he's noting down. That's what it is. Sure. Okay. So we did have a discussion with um, the Magic player saying if you want to be on footage, because we have had some comments uh, online saying uh, you should make the proxies not illegible. <laughs> yeah. So if they are getting ready with some uh, illegible proxies, they'll be in big trouble. I'm pretty uh, sure 98% of this of Lachlan's deck is legit, though. Yeah. 
Think about Lachlan, he has a lot of cards. Yep. Yeah, so. yeah, a lot of good staples. Oh, a lot of cards, Lachlan, they call him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all had a good laugh when he told us that he accidentally dropped his Highlander playable cards in a giant box, he just dropped it, and it's just all over the floor, he didn't clean it up for nearly a week. <laughs> it's a lot of cards. Like, they're all sorted perfectly, it's just this giant box, he's like, I'm just, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> so, I mean, that's fine, you just have your card laying on the floor. And the Vision's ticking down to three. Alright, so we see a naturally suspended Visions instead of waiting to... I guess if you're waiting for it to go brainstorm and then find the Cascade, it's fine. And surely, you probably just want to Cascade into other stuff, right? I mean, I uh, suppose, yeah, with the four color Cascade, just anything that you cast into is good. No, no. But if you're putting brains, if you're putting Visions back on top just so you can Cascade into it, you might as well have just suspended it. Yeah, yeah. sure, sure. If you don't anticipate it happening in the next four turns, then yeah, yeah for sure. Ooh. So yeah. top, there's an scoos. Explorer, Thoughtseize, and... Scavenging Yeah. I yeah. think, me? It's definitely a Scoos. I'm willing to bet no money on that. <laughs> it, it, it is, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, 100%. Yeah, Veteran Explorer being such a powerful card yeah. in this deck, as I said before, being able to sacrifice it to Cabal Therapy, a flashback. Um, Another thought he's, he's definitely not what he wants now. He's already yeah. got too much pressure on... Lachlan's already got too much pressure on board. Yeah, he's sure, been messing sure. around with the Explorer course yeah. the end of just having the night out seems good right, yeah unfortunately having the uh death right there just being able to eat lands yeah it kind of makes night not as good i mean even having the balfour strix up for blocking i mean not you'd probably be more inclined to use night of the reliquary as a utility piece rather than bashing in but the beautiful the beautiful part of it is it can do both right yeah i know this is a uh highlander all-star for oh, all i see a bad proxy Jake, right that? You, you like, love the uh, night. You like that right? night of the relic. Yes, yeah. one of my favorite cards in Highlander, just the, because I play lands and just the ability to go find your missing piece to Dark Depths combo or mm. you know Strip Mind Wasteland. Um, just any utility land is amazing. Just and she gets so fat so quick. It's great. Yeah. She's just I just love her. Do you want to just uh, what is the card? For people who haven't seen the card before, um, so she is one colorless, one white, one green uh, for a two-two uh, human warrior, I think, knight. Um, and she know. has a tap ability: sacrifice a forest or plains, and go find any land of your choice and put it on the battlefield. Cool. She also gets plus one, plus one for each uh, land in your bin. So hmm. she's very good. Kind of a bit of a combo with the uh, life from the line. Phyrexian Tower, yes. veteran explorer, mm. pretty good. What does uh, Phyrexian Tower do? Uh, it is a legendary land that taps for a colorless, or you can tap it and sack a creature and add two black to your mana pool. Oh, Such sweet. value. Yeah, yeah sure. And uh, Loki not even <laughs> looking at his library, which makes me think he does not have any basics at all. Oh my god. <laughs> Failed to find on the first one. <laughs> you can get, you can get a free lot. shuffle out of it if he wants. Yeah, I don't think he's... Yeah. Uh, I, I suppose, sure. You like fail to find and then just shuffle anyway. Um... Yeah, this is uh, Oh, Tower. here we go. Here's Soren oh, Grim Nemesis. Soren. <laughs> nice. What turn are we up to? Is this four? Uh, I think so. I think just keep freebies, yeah. Yeah. I don't think anyone's missed a line drop. Don't ask me to pay attention, man. Come on. <laughs> uh, yeah. Poor Soren. Understandably getting forced. Uh, yeah, I think once it's down... I just would have really liked to see it land, though. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see a Soren. <laughs> Boo, lucky boo. Boo, lucky boo. <laughs> no, that's fine. I think it's a completely reasonable decision. I mean, countering any six mana yeah. spell seems fine. Ooh, here, oh, we here we go, a Cascader. Uh, this is the power of the deck. Rash me. Nice. I'm lucky to not get that Rash me. Oh, brainstorm. brainstorm. Still yeah. good. Yeah. Not I'm sure he would have liked to get more value into a Shardless into oh, something else. Brain like, like, Shardless, so good. Brainstorm is still good. They don't call it uh, Channelers, uh, Chainer, so you can chain into a Brainstorm. But that's true. Whatever. Free Brainstorm is just fine. Yeah. We'll, we'll accept that for sure. So he's going to be bashing in here for four as well. Yep. Yeah, seems pretty good. Yep. Why not? Uh, Blood Braid Elf, for those who don't know, is just a. Uh, it's got haste and cascade, and it's a four mana, uh, four mana three three. Yep. Which is just a pretty value creature as well, you know. Like, I mean, if you could cascade into it through some disgusting five mana, uh, I think Retuminous Blast is five mana. Yeah. That's a yeah. cascade spell dealing four damage to target creature. Um, unfortunately, I mean, it's I suppose it's good that it's a five mana spell because if you're, um, you don't want to cascade into a Retuminous Blast uh, for no value if they don't have a creature that you can hit, but... Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah. So just blow Brave is going to be going into the red zone. Is that a bad proxy? Looks that way. Uh, another Keeping the, there the um, Strix back for blocking duties against uh, the Knight, which seems is understandable. Fine. Yep. Yeah, seems completely Stops reasonable. him swinging, probably, yep. yeah. most likely. How big is that Knight at the moment? Uh, it's so hard to tell. Well, there's one... It's in your own library, right? It's uh, in your own yeah. 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 I think it might only... Four cards that have been exiled, two. so it's either, it's either got plus two or plus one. Yeah. That glare being, I think one um, of them is a veteran explorer and the other one's a land, so I think okay. it's just Sounds a plus reasonable. one. Yeah. Did they also play that land that puts a creature, like a small creature, back on top of your library? Volrath Stronghold. Yeah. Seems I'm like sure pretty good. Um, also a card I play in Highlander. Mm. Yeah. So, it, it's so much value. Just listing off right. cards that you know in Jake's <laughs> card. Like, yeah, yeah. That's right. It's essentially, yeah. It's, it's yeah, a land Of course, deck, right? you play uh, Dark Depths as well, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I know all of the lands. <laughs> now we do see a spicy one of for the Volrath Stronghold as well as one of the, the Phyrexian Tower. It's just value, but you don't want to be... Um... I think a Pernicious Steed's about to drop. Oh. Ah, it seems so good. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, Phyrexian good Tower's thing very about good. Pernicious Steed is you don't have to pay uh, colours to do it. It's just... It could be colourless. Just X, yeah, yeah. X and sack. Take that engine explosives. That's it, so he can hit absolutely everything. I think this might have to be sort of a key piece in Nickfit as well, right? Because you can... The amounts of mana that you can uh, have for X for Pernacious Deed is incredible, mm -hmm. you know? It's also X and less, isn't it? Is it X and is less? It, it is X and less, uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's good. ridiculous. But uh, Lucky having um, Blood Raid Elf makes him pay for four, but so, if it has a lot of mana, so... Dylan can pop this during Lachlan's turn by tapping the knight, sacking one of his basics, going to find another one, then sacking the knight to the tower, and then so he'll have four mana up, and then he can just wipe Lachlan's board. Yeah. I think it's like a... Um, Is it worth getting rid of the knight, though? Well, I guess you're that far behind, yeah. you might as well. Yeah. We don't have to get rid of the knight either, right? Because knights are three, and knight's you could just do it for two. Yeah, but then, yeah, but then he'd, he'd, he'd have the blood raid, but yep. blood raid it, might, it might be yeah. worth it, yeah. I don't know, not yeah. having the not having the death right charm seems to be the most important thing. But if you're sacking the knight to the tower, like you know, yeah. Oh sure, think yeah, he yeah, done sure, this, of course. Yeah, yeah. But you don't yeah, have yeah. to. Oh, here we go. May as well go nuts on it. So I think he's, yeah, he's gonna do what that. I described before. You should play this deck, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a cheaper version of lands. And you don't And also creatures. And also creatures. You probably play Nick Fit in uh, Highlander. No, it's just it's just zoo, right? It's just value creatures. Yeah, I don't think it's a very good combo to have uh, cabal therapy in Highlands. <laughs> well, you know, you get to cast it twice. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, yeah, I think we I think we're seeing exactly what Jake described. Ooh, oh no, drawing off top. Yeah, he wants to get that out of the play so it doesn't hit. Oh, for day. sure, oh, for sure. True. Yeah, seems fine. What does uh, Panacea's Deed hit again? Is it everything? It's Does creatures, it enchantments, artifacts. Um, Lucky's brainstorming response. Yeah. Ooh. Is it so all permanents besides brain uh, planeswalkers? Yes. Sure. Yes. Same as uh, show and tell rules. I remember when I first played show and tell, I thought it was anything because it obviously just I'm stupid and didn't read the card. So I remember I did it with you, Nick, and you brought in uh, Liliana of the Veil, vale, and I went. Oh, yeah. I'm Turns just... out that I accidentally cheated. That's fine. We both cheated. I allowed it to happen, so basically I'm the cheater as well. I'm justice to blame. If I was Dylan, I might have done this in my own turn, so I wouldn't have let Lachlan untap with two death rights, because I think he I think he used had one with summoning sick and one was tapped. Sure. But doing this in Lachlan's turn, he's allowing him to respond to it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's also the opportunity for him to go Bloodbraid Elf and then Cascade yeah. again, yeah. you know, like for such value, you know. He's still he's doing all these tricks in response to yep. Steed now. Which is fine, he's just he's just getting rid of a couple just, more things yeah. before. As much damage as possible. Yeah. Alright, so we're seeing a complete board, board wipe. White. It's such a good, like, outspell, right? Yeah. Alright, <laughs> starting again. Yeah. Confluence, and Confluence and a bad proxy. Bad proxy. <laughs> uh, another oh. there we go. Oh, this is very suspicious. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if you just have a card of scribbles on it, you just say, "Oh, this is an special version." <laughs> <laughs> Can't you read it? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a good call. Yeah, it's a Confluence. And drawing three cards. To the oh. So see another Confluence. Another a bad proxy. Another bad proxy of an ancestral visions. I think uh, actually remembering this, this might actually be my fault because I do remember him asking me to print a proxies and then I forgot. So. 
That's the game you have to play when you ask me to do things. Exactly. <laughs> Just expect that he might not do them. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we're seeing something coming down now. Strix. Strix. Sounds good. Seems good. Yep. Yeah. Didn't see what he drew off the top, but that's all right. Um, so, the, showing the sort of absolute power of the uh, Cascade Chainer, like, we just... Uh, he's got two creatures back down after uh, a Panacea Steed uh, absolutely wiping the board for uh, both of them. And it just comes back. You know, it seems pretty good. Thought seizing seems pretty good. Yeah. Do you force a will this? Lachlan's got it. I feel like he don't, surely. Unless, I think that, like... What hey, else does he have in his hand? Yeah. Unless he just want to... Oh, a blood he has a blood enough. Yeah, you probably force it, right? Oh, no? No. No, no there we go. Oh, he doesn't have much else. Force. Than a, blood breed. a bad proxy. I think that's an ancestral reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dylan's like, get rid of this, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a oh, shardless. Okay, so, there we yeah. go. Right. No, it's a magma spray. Magma gem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. Oh, well, I that's fine, then. I don't mind that at all. Yeah, that's better. That's better to than pitching it. Because what do you even take? Like, well, you I take guess a, one of them. You don't take the force, right? I assume you take Blood Braid Elf. You get the most value yeah. out of it. Yeah. He has the mana to cast it. Yep. And Cascade again. Take the getting rid of the forcible well. like puts you on the sort of yeah. doesn't put you on the like puts you on the aggressive oh, side. Okay, sorry. Cool. Okay. So Dylan if he must takes have that, some spells to cast. Yeah, he cast something big and he, then, like it's not going to get countered. In that case, you should have taken Shardless Agent because then he doesn't have anything to pitch to Force of Will. But like, yeah, but he's going to draw three cards eventually. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I like taking Force of Will. It it, it, it determines your position in the oh game. Goodness. Like, if you want it to be the aggressor, then you just take oh, that. I assume uh, that's why. Like, he couldn't cast it this turn. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. So you don't you take, take the, the count yeah. spell. Yeah. 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 I really want to see it uh, on camera. Soren resolve. I also want to see it rash me do stuff. I want to just see a good cascade. <laughs> Five into a four into a three into a two. That'd be legit. Like some sort of cascade chainer. Yeah, dude. Alright, here we go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Killing the <laughs> See the raw power of the cascading. Oh, it, it, chaining. Oh, no, yes, doing right. He's doing the it. thing. Alright. Um, so, alright, so we got another cascade tree. Jorian. That's spicy. Jorian, oh. Leovold, Balfour Strix. That's perfectly reasonable. See, look yep. at this. And then he draws a card. Great. Oh my god. It's just too much. And he got all of that out of four mana. And that's a, that's, that's, did he get another force out of that as well? That's a spicy four for one. Um, didn't see actually. But it doesn't have enough blue card, I think. Swinging for a bunch. Alright. Uh, Trade yeah. with the blood right off you. I think this game might is... have this unlock now. Yeah, this game has just been back and forth like crazy, you know, like um like two seconds ago at the end of Dylan's turn I thought Yeah, yeah Dylan's looking back. really good and then like now this has happened. Oof. There was a lot of uh Death Right Shaman activations, which yeah. I think uh, really put him behind. I think if we can see the Soren resolve, it might be fine. I mean, yeah. Sora's, Soren's uptick is uh, like, good, but because yeah. you're on two life I think at now. this point he needs to clear the board and then cast it, and I don't think he can do that. There is yeah. a green sun zenith. Green suns. So if he green suns for, what do we got? Titania maybe. Yeah. Uh, but he does. It. It's just all so bad. He does have a way to end up, but he can't <laughs> get mean, it. He doesn't have enough mana. Soren's minus X does gain him life from whatever he hits. Okay. Sure. So. I mean, you could get, um, yeah, probably Titania's fine to go wide if you can. Uh, he's got a Wasteland, so he can get at least one Elemental, and then maybe keep himself alive. Ugh. I think Dylan's really thinking about what exactly he can get with that, um, Green Suns. Yeah. See, so is just tank. too little too late as well. Yeah. Right? Like, well, you can get the Sorin out, and then that's it. Yeah. Hit this. Uh, so, I think he drew a Forest, now he's tapping. Okay, so he wants all the mana. Uh, uh, oh. He wants Green something big. for how much? For five. For five. No, that's no, for six. 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 Yeah. And, no, he and that's it. Yeah. yeah, cool. I assume if he was going for six, he was going to get Dragon Lord Dramoka because she has lifelink. Ah, uh, yeah. okay, sure. That seems pretty good. Damage happens at the same time. Yep. Yeah. All right, so All right. that was game that's one. Game one, a long game one. 20 minute long game one. Yeah. It's, uh... I think that was, like, a pretty, pretty decent game, honestly. I think it was, as I said before, it was kind of yo-yoing in who was doing pretty well. So we'll see what they sideboard in here. I think so, saw three surgicals from Dylan. Yep, an abrupt decay as well. Seeing some more bad proxies from Lachlan. It's good to see. Yeah, What's, uh, good proxies. What do you think what do you think's the motivation for the surgicals? Uh stop his chainers going, I guess. If you can get rid of all his cascade stuff, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean crazy. I guess I'm not crazy about the surgicals coming in, but 
Oh, hold on. Of course. You go uh, turn one thought seize. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Get Damn. all of their force of wills. Or you go turn one... Like, you, get you, their shardless or blood braid or something. Yeah, that's a two-card yeah, combo in itself, yeah. right? You, like, get, so get blood braid. Okay. And, and Nick Fit's tempo, fine. Like, yeah. Nick Fit is just... You've played the value, right? And Surgical's probably just the value enough. If you can go it. turn one Cabal Therapy or turn one Thought Seize into a Surgical... Okay. I'm now seeing it. That seems really good. Get Odd T coming out. Which seems fair. Yeah, it seems that, a bit blah against Cascade. The only it, thing it, that the only thing it hits is uh, Force of Will. Sh- yeah, yeah, yeah. It, play, yeah. It, it gets Bretuminous Blast as well. It does, but, um, if he's playing that. Yeah, we, I, we didn't it. see it. I don't know if he is playing it. Yeah, it might just be too conditional, right? That's the uh, 5 mana and deal 4 damage. I see a it's great also just ton. a terrible spell. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. we didn't get Lucky's Titan, list which off is, him. Yeah, I like bringing in Grave Titan. Just bringing... A big body and a couple idiots to help block, slow the yeah. game down. Okay. But seems good. Seems pretty good, yeah. He has death touch too, doesn't he? Yeah. He uh, does. He does. Um, the zombies don't. The zombies don't, don't yeah. yeah. But I mean, getting two, two, two zombies seems pretty good. It doesn't seem. He probably didn't see very much um, board removal from Lachlan besides uh, Balfour's tricks, which is not very. Yeah. It doesn't seem very good, but even getting like four zombies down. Yeah, it's exactly. At that point, it, right? you know, yeah. you're way ahead. And if you can keep uh, Grave Titan down for long enough, then you're feeling pretty good. Yeah. Uh, did we see what Lachlan brought in at all, or took it up? Uh, not really. Mm. That's a shame. The uh, uh, the awkward thing about Cascade Chainer is that uh, your sideboard pieces have to be very specifically like mm. um, checked. Did you know what what's the um, What's that enchantment again that gives creatures minus one, minus one? Uh, Night of Solid Patrol. Yeah, so you can't play, like, a better version of that, you know, yeah. because you have to have it not cascade, but... I don't know. It's the uh, same situation and you have to do that, but I think Lachlan might be smart enough to just know that if you just put down a permanent that's also a sideboard piece, then it's probably just fine. Yeah. yeah. I don't think, um, giving his creatures minus one, minus one would do much anyway. That seems terrible. Yeah. Kills his own battleful streaks and just, like, yeah. shrinks all Kills better stuff. an explorer, dude. <laughs> oh, just what he wants. No, sorry, I just meant, like, uh, that was the only example that I could think of, but you have to have yeah, yeah, high yeah. mana um, yeah. sideboard pieces. Yeah. Unless you want to cascade into them. Like, I don't even know what you, you like, force in his hand in there. I saw I just saw uh, Kaladesh Nissa. I'm pretty sure in Dylan's yeah. Head. I thought I might have seen that. Yeah. Is it Kaladesh? Yep, that's her at the front. Nice. Yeah, Vital Force is very good. Especially yeah, in a deck I that is. Yeah, I actually like uh, it a lot. Yeah. Get her emblem, play lands. Mm. Yep, sounds good. Which uh, I think it's when that, they enter as well. Was it Voice of Zendikar? Or was the other one? It's Vital Force. Yeah. Vital Force. Sorry. Um, Voice is uh, BF set, isn't it? Who knows? Anyway. It's, uh, voice is the standard played one, right? And um, voice of voice of the yeah, that makes a plant or makes a plant and, or yeah. gives plus one plus one counters. Great in the uh, black green um, snake deck. Yeah, Vital Force also played in elves uh, sideboards and sometimes main boards. Yeah, what's your um? You play her, don't you? Yeah, I play uh, one or two in the side. What She's do you bring very her good. in for? Uh, like mid range. Yeah. It's, it's very good. Yeah, sure. Do you bring your in against miracles because the land? Ah, uh, yes. The land I have done creatures before. until your next turn. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, well, the other thing is like if you animate a land and then it gets terminus, you lose a land. But yeah. um, <laughs> it's still, it's still fine. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that sounds awful. You play the grindy game against miracles anyway. Yeah. And uh, especially uh, getting our emblem and drawing cards when you play lands is very good. So it's just pretty standard setup from both of them. We got a turn one death right, and then a turn one top top. So, seems pretty good. They're all just sort of sorting themselves out. I wonder what the... Maybe Delano started with two cards in hand, because, like, I don't see any other reason to fetch so quickly in the game. I think I see a Gitrog monster in Dylan's hand. I'm yes. loving this deck more and more, just watching it. <laughs> Get him, boys. <laughs> Gitrog's so good. And a Titania. Yep. That's, wow, uh... he's got some fatties in there. Mm. Yep. I, uh, I was watching... Uh, Dylan versus uh, Silvius, another member of the community, and he was they were playing the mirror, and it was just disgusting. There was too <laughs> many permanents on the board, <laughs> and I know uh, uh, I was watching when Silvius green sunned, and he went, I don't know, green suns for 
ten, and then he just like <laughs> looks through his deck, and he has like one or two more creatures left, and like because you like try to go big on try to go bigger than the other person in Nick Fit in the Nick Fit mirror, then like you got to get like once you run out of like big creatures, it just seems awful. Ooh, veteran oh. explorer there. Yeah, I saw a veteran explorer. I didn't see anything else. Has he got the cabal therapy? In He's probably fine to like. Uh, ooh. I think he's just got lands and fatties, so he needs that veteran explorer. Yeah. Dylan getting, like, as much possible value as he can, like, off his top. Yeah, oh, so there we tower. go. Okay, that seems sick. I don't think he has anything to cast yet there. So he goes, but he, like... Well, I guess, yeah, he has I two, think he has he a, gets scoot, more... a scavenging ooze, I think he play in his hand. Yeah, but, yeah, but he, he can't, he's... it only makes double black. If he sacks veteran explorer, yeah, but get it means he has access right? to yeah. four mana, right? Yeah. But he probably doesn't want to, maybe he doesn't want to get rid of top. Yeah. Which is understandable. Yeah, I mean, it gives you, it's also instant speed getting access to four mana, because Veteran Explorer getting the basics, and then Voldra Stronghold giving you black black, so like... It's true. You can abrupt decay at the end of his turn or something. Just You can also just like, present, <laughs> you know, like, Shardless. Yeah, that's uh, fine. Oh, oh ah, value. Ah, Card value. What a setup for the brainstorm. Brainstorm, sorry. Oh yeah, there we go. The correct way to get an artificial version <laughs> out. <laughs> no, it seems good. Um, it's now lucky just having too many cards, opting to... And then playing another one. Go I think, on. yeah, I think in four turns it's better to have, uh... Four turns it's better to have three cards Ooh. than right now, because his hand is completely full. Dylan's yeah. alright with shuffling the top away. Uh, yeah, it just seems fine. Right. I think it's just value, he wants to just cast big creatures and, like... Yeah. He's tapped out, so it's, yeah, force of will or bust, so... He has big creatures in his hand, I think, that he can play. Yep. Yeah, seems fine. Um, he's also doing it uh, while Lachlan is setting up his setting up his uh, shuffle, or his, sorry, the end of his cascade, so he can just be like, just so you know, I'm going to do this. <laughs> so, this seems fine. Sorry, it's got to the now. Now he's got a bunch. He wasted that two black mana, but that's fine. You don't uh, need two black mana. Ooh, grave time. Grave time. Actually, that two black mana would have been great. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's six mana. Yeah, we can play great He's time. Got him. Oh my god, he should do it. But you just leave it up for force. It seems like a good time because yeah, as you said before, it's either force or nothing. So. Well, yeah, and he's just drawn three cards, and he definitely has a force of will. Dylan doesn't know that though. Does he have another have blue card? Idea. You could probably, I reckon. You just maybe assume, right? That's what you always do against force yeah. decks. Throwing, I think probably throwing Nissa in first. I don't know. What do you guys prefer, like, to? Uh, I would throw a Git Rog under the bus. Like yeah, he's... Nissa dies right yeah. straight away, pretty much. Because if Git Rog resolves, then fine, you've got a fatty, but like he's the one that does the least in his hand, so yeah, you're right sure. with him being forced and just like baiting it out. Or uh, play Nissa and make your fetch land block fetch. Yeah. Seems pretty good. Yeah. I can get this that. is five mana, if I remember right. So one of them's, one of them's going to die. Uh, if he decides to cast the spell now, which he should, Ooh, get get sure. seems good too. So if he forces it, I think Dylan would be very happy with that, just because there's a lot of other spells that are yep, much better. It is forced. Okay. A uh, Belstrix. Okay, I think that was the correct play. Yep. I think you're right, Jake. That it's just like yep. probably not as good as the other things that he has in his deck. Yep. Throw it into a force. There's no yeah. way you'd want to throw it to Tanya in blind. Oh, for like, sure. She's yeah. just bonkers. All right. So what are we saying? Can we see another uh, chain. Uh, there's a Bloodbraid Elf. Ooh, ooh, we're doing it! Here we go again. Alright. Hold on, guys. Oh! <laughs> Here we go! Uh, oh. <laughs> Not Ancestral Visions, but it's... Yeah, it'll fine, die. Yeah. It's still, like, uh, such a good uh, use of the cards. Like, just having... Going in Shardless and then straight into Brainstorm. Mm. So much so value! Good. I want this deck. And still having the uh, Death Rite open to yeah. cast something else. Ah. Oh, just swing it in. So, uh, I guess if you're not using, um, if you're not using Deathrite to do anything else. Yeah. I like using Deathrite to eat one of his lands if he plays like a knight or, mm. um, I don't know. Like, else. the knight can't do anything the turn it comes down. You just do yeah, it. Yeah, sure. Once, okay. Right? And he had a fetch land open anyway, so yeah. it's like zero sum value. Sure. Yeah. Triad Arbor. Uh, I kind of like it. Nope. Dylan doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan changes his mind. Um, I kind of like it. I kind of. I actually prefer um, the 
Dryad Arbor for Valra Stronghold seems. Oh, the other That's one, the Brexton Tower. Brexton Tower, yeah. yeah. Yeah, seems fine, right? To get like a billion mana, like you've already got too much. He needs to go Grave Titan, <laughs> yeah. Alright. That's not the. Does he have it? Uh, I nope. Yes. I think it's coming oh. through. Alright. Here we go. Here, have some pieces of paper. Have some Childless <laughs> Agents. <laughs> no, no, you can't yeah, turn no, upside no, down. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> there yeah. you go. And you get two, two, twos. A deed for Dylan very soon would be just what the doctor ordered yep. because yeah, this board, seems very board's good. starting to get pretty stupid on Lachlan so that... yeah but then you uh, I guess giving up your uh, tokens is nothing compared to doesn't matter you're going to get another three. two when you swing yeah yeah, exactly yeah sure right. alright seems good doing it for three uh, how much does Bloodbraid four yep. yeah doing it for four seems tight well now surely Lachlan doesn't even swing into this right he doesn't want anything to die so probably not well, he'd lose if he swings with the Shardless they die to the tokens if he swings with the Bloodbraid Elf it dies to the uh, Titan. What does Lachlan have in the way of removal? Um, uh, we don't know. We, we couldn't get his yeah. uh, list in time. But, I, um, I, I have a feeling he doesn't play very much, only because he knows that he's going wide, and also yeah. cascading into a removal spell is just... It's pretty bad. Bad. Mm -hmm. Like... It's, just, it's, it's, it's against what the value deck wants to do. Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly. not being able to cast a spell. Oh, oh, here yeah. we go. Master <laughs> <Never mind>. <laughs> Pulse. Surely that's come from the board. Mm. Also, it doesn't get into... Sh uh, what's his name? Um, yeah, yes. Shiny tokens. God, I love those tokens. They're so tasty. What are we trading with? A Shardless and a Blood Braid. Seems fine. Yep. Very okay with that. Take uh, three... Uh, two points of damage. I kind of like getting rid of both the Shardlesses. Do you guys not like that? Uh, For one... Like, you're only trading up one point of damage. Uh, Shardless point. dies to artifact removal, yeah. so it's probably better to okay. keep that. Okay, sure. What are we seeing? I see an eternal witness uh, on the top. top. Don't know what he drew. Did he draw the top? Yep. I think he has a scavenger goose in hand. I see. Which would be very good right now. Witness yeah. also, by the looks of it. Witness, Titania, and then. Did we see Scoos? I think there's a scavenger goose. It's hard to see. Okay. Oh, I could just go Nissa, right? Whatever he's doing, he can do whatever the freaking hell he wants because <laughs> he's got a billion mana. Except How those many two deaths right now. Uh, one. One. So, this is five. Then turns into a five five. Yeah. So, you could play Nissa, untap a land, play Witness. Yep. Maybe. Yeah. Seems pretty tasty. Uh, but. Oh, those death rates have something sick. Sorry. Oh, they both have something No, they don't. No, they don't. Do they? Didn't he play them? No, he played Bloodbraid Elf into Shardless, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So, he's. Yeah. So, Witness doesn't really do much, right? Not as great. Or it just um, loses whatever he tries to get back. Sure. There we go. Making a do seems fine. 5-5. Five, five. Yep. What's the... Uh, is it a tick-up or is it a tick-down? Tick-up. That's pretty good. Yeah, on top of Guy's Cradle for that extra value. Ah, oh, <laughs> too tasty. Tap Guy's Cradle, yep. untap, tap for one more. Oh that seems God. pretty good. Yeah. What Plus she's an elf, so it fits with the flavor of yeah. elves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Planeswalker type. <laughs> Planeswalker elf. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, so. I hate that they chose Nissa's art as the uh, champion um, game day promo for Kaladesh. Really? Like, it was Chandra's plane, her thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah Nissa yeah. just swoops in and. <laughs> <laughs> Nissa! How dare you! Um, but at least, at least, at the like, at the very least, we've got the Chandra who's actually good. Yeah. Like, um, oh, we've got Blood Braid into Blood Braid Leobold. into Leobold. Oh my so god, so much good. Alright, so we're paying one to eat. A land. And then we're, yeah, yeah cool. to eat a land, and then we're going. Shut ah! What do we got? Another Blood Braid. No, no, no more. That's the, that's the Bituminous Blast. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, there yeah, you so yeah. yeah. Come on. Hit something. There you go. <laughs> Another death. <laughs> Alright. Sure. <laughs> Too much no. value, TBH. I believe that was a shardless into death right. Oh, yeah. Blast. Yeah. Oh man. Hmm. I want this deck. Dylan, uh, rip a deed. You you need it. Yeah, Lachlan's yeah. board is uh. Hmm. Disgusting. <laughs> to say the very least. Yeah. Well, luckily, uh, finished deed doesn't target. Oh hold on, the Petrimus blast might have actually just been a different art. No, it's a blood, blood braider. It's a blood braider. Yeah, that yeah. one's definitely a blood braider. Yeah. The one that he shuffled. Yeah, I don't think he is playing well. the blast. Yes, there's Deed from the yes. top. Oh. Give it to me. Yes, straight on top. No no doubt about it. Yep. Doesn't kill Nissa. So this is good. Great. This Clear is real good for Dylan. Uh, 
How many cards does Lockie have? I think, no, I, think I see one card, but I'm not sure if he's just got them stacked or... Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 So good! Here uh, we go. It's for yep, four? four? You can do it for four immediately. Yep. Yep. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And oh. no oh. Leopold oh triggers for you, buddy, because it does not target. <laughs> no targeting. Is it sacrifice, or what is it? Ah, uh, it's destroy. It destroys. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, it but it's not target. It doesn't have the it's it's destroy all. keyword sure. target, so... Still doesn't oh kill Dark Oh then he can untap oh. and swing. Oh, so much value. Yeah, that was a that was so good because he had what what was it two lands and a yeah. um two lands in the Pinacious Deeds. So. I like not attacking here because if he rips a Bloodbraid off from the ancestral visions or just from drawing, then he's dead. So oh yeah. totally yeah. Yeah. So not, yeah, not swinging. Swing is just greedy as well. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh my god, could you nice imagine going Bloodbraid Elf into Jace? Ah, oh. oh wait, no, no, that wouldn't happen, buddy. I could <laughs> imagine it. I could imagine it, but it would never happen. <laughs> Can you imagine it and then having someone go, you can't do that? Ah, oh, that'd be so good. Uh, <laughs> Paying attention to cards is not my forte, obviously. We don't pay attention. Nah, it's boring. You'll discover that. What do you... So do we know what he's doing at the moment? Did he... He brainstormed. Yeah, he brainstormed? Sure. I guess if you've got the mana open, then you may as well. He's pretty summon again. So yeah, why not? Mm. Is that another blood braid? I think I just. I think I did. Braid. Yeah. So does Dylan versions. have a wasteland in the bin? Um. I haven't seen him use it. I see. I see. There's a Titania in his hand. And if he can, yeah, get wasteland back, like. Well, Fetchland will do the same you thing. You type right? that game really yeah. quickly with that sort of play. Yeah. I mean, Lachlan's already got all the mana in the world he wants, but like just being able to try and slow him down and having mm. the five three to boot is great. It's very surprising, actually, that we see Nick fit with um, almost the same amount. How much is it? Six, seven, versus seven? Yeah, it's funny that they both have the same amount of land, but uh, Lachlan does not have any basic lands. Yeah. So. <laughs> playing, a playing a Titania is great, just being like, animate your land, and then sack it with the tower, and then fetch. Oh, <laughs> yes. that's so tasty. I can deal with that for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... I think I'm he not, might have a similar idea. Yeah, I'm hoping Here we for go. Titania. Come on, Titania. Oop. She's another yeah, amazing oh, creature. I apparently not. Highlander lands. She's just... Yeah. Do we he's not playing what? Titania. If he's fetching now... Why did he fetch? I don't know. Try that. Okay, oh. that's just as good. Yeah. Oh, it's you can sack it to Voldemort Stronghold. Yeah. Yeah, but then you don't get the fetch trigger. Ugh. Maybe he just thought, that's just too much value. I can't, yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, it's too much. Maybe he doesn't have another fetch. Oh, no, he just gets it back. He just yeah. gets it back. Oh, he yeah. Oh, but you can Lachlan's, do that twice, uh, right? death rights must have eaten all his fetches. Yeah, so there he, you go. Yeah. Oh, okay, sure. So now you get the value. Yeah. And then Five. still be able to tick up Nissa and get the land, yeah. Five at Jace. So, yeah. uh, so he's just holding up. Yeah, so yeah. now he's able to make two five threes whenever he wants. Yep. Yeah. He's but he's up. also on two lives, so he's probably just waiting to make sure that it's necessary because he doesn't want to fail. <sighs> Call against command. Oh, oh no! What? What? Oh, what a beat! Get out of here! So rough. Sack it, yeah. Surgical green sun no. and another green sun. Oh, so that is it really him. unfortunate. Oh. Sack. Is he going to surgical? Uh, just in response. Yep. The gentleman's way to win. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, Dylan. All right. So well done, guys. So that was uh, two that is two to Lachlan. Saunders, yeah. Yep. Uh, well, thanks guys. Uh, keep in uh, liking and subscribing the videos. That's Stay it. tuned for more videos coming up. Yeah. See ya.